It's a monster and it is 0% contained. That's how a spokeswoman for the Texas Forest Service described a giant wildfire burning near Austin. The fire, one of dozens that are scorching bone dry Texas, has burned about 25,000 acres, destroyed nearly 500 homes so far. 5,000 people have been forced to evacuate. Texas is in the middle of a historic drought, as you know, and could certainly use the drenching rains that have fallen on Louisiana and Mississippi from Tropical Depression Lee. Unfortunately, winds from that storm have actually fanned the flames burning in Texas. And tonight, firefighters are battling a dangerous and fast-moving fire just north of Houston. CNN uh, affiliate KPRC reports that it's burned about 1,000 acres, is threatening homes in a number of subdivisions. People have been evacuated, though we don't know how many. So far, thankfully, no reports of injuries. But a separate fire in the eastern part of the state killed a woman and her 18-month-old child yesterday. We're joined on the phone by Mary Kay Hicks, also from the Texas Forest Service. Uh, Mary, have you ever seen anything like this in Texas? No, I have not. I've been here about 18 years, and this is this is one of those things that you you um, you train for and you worry about for years and and hope it never happens. But all the pieces of that puzzle came into place in a very bad way this weekend. To, to hear 0% contained, is that still the case? Have you made any progress? You know, there's so many fires going on in the state, and they are making progress on some of them. Some of them they're not calling contained at all because they just cannot get around them. The winds have just not died down. And yesterday we talked about a mom and her baby were, were, were killed. They, they'd refused orders to leave. Are, are people taking the warning seriously? You know, yesterday I was on fires, and um, I talked to a lady, and she said this is all she had. She wasn't leaving. And it just, you know, it's a house. It's just, it's just a house. Um, you know, we just encourage people. That's our number one goal is to protect the you know, firefighters first, the volunteers that are out here, you know, and, and fight these fires and protect the properties, but mainly lives. You can replace everything else. I don't think a lot of people realize just how quickly these fires can jump from one area to the next and how fast they can move. Yeah, these fires are like rolling because the extreme drought, um, the trees, all the fuel and everything out there may look sort of green, but it's not. It's like firewood standing there, and this fire is just rolling over it. Um, it's just unbelievable. Sounds like a locomotive. Is there something people can do so that they don't inadvertently start other fires? You know, that's, that's the horrible thing. This last couple of days, we've seen people dragging um, chains, and we've seen people pulling um, barbecue pits that have embers coming out yeah you know we just have to get the word out that, that there's so much you can do because most fires in texas are caused by people and, and at this point i mean how how are you guys battling all this well mostly from the air um you know they get the ground resources behind it but mostly we're dropping water and retardant and um, anything you know from the air is a whole lot better than on the ground because it's a lot safer well uh, the, the work uh, the men and women out there are doing is just extraordinary mary Kay hicks i appreciate you taking the time to talk to us thank you good luck